Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a headless mistress from Monster High doll and making her to look like the mistress of the dark herself, Elvira. So in this video I'll be showing you some of the costume construction, the sculpting of the dagger, and the face up. So I showed a lot of the costume construction offline because I had made two dresses. The first one I just wasn't happy with the fit. It's really difficult to get enough cleavage for Elvira is, and then also show a lot of leg. So I decided to go with this wrap dress. And it worked out perfectly because I was able to uh, tie it off the ribbon around the waist and then cover it with the belt that Elvira has in her costume. So even with it turning out, it, as good as I would like it to it she does have a little bit of a nip slip once in a while but it was it worked out good so here I'm making the belt with just a piece of vinyl and I'm measuring it to the waist and added some uh, snaps and then I popped a couple of holes in the front and drew through a piece of elastic to add the dagger and then I just stitched that on on the inside so here you can see I'm adding the elastic through these holes and then I just stitch it in. That way when I add the dagger it can be removable. So I'm using some epoxy sculpt to sculpt the dagger and just taking even amounts of each. I used a little bit too much there because it's such a small dagger I just overshot it. But So I'm using the, the photo there as a reference and just sculpting it to the size and then measuring the size against the belt because I want it to not over be, be over scale. It is a slightly exaggerated scale, but if I, if I made it too small, I didn't want it to be very breakable. So I made it a little bit smaller there and then I let it dry overnight after adding the handle guards. And once it dried, I painted it black and then added some silver over top of that or I'm sorry gold and then I added a little ruby gem so under the face up after a few coats of mr. super clear I start in with the eyes I'm using a couple of reference photos of Elvira I wanted to give her sort of a sneaky or you know seductive look that Elvira has if I had to do this over again, I would probably carve out the lips on this doll. The uh, face, facial features of this mold didn't quite match Elvira's, but I did with what I could with it. The bottom lip, though, is really odd-shaped compared to Elvira's, so I just had to do some highlighting there to try to cover that. So I had her eyes a little bit closed, so you can see more of her... Uh, upper eyelid so I could do some eyeshadow work. I'm using a, da a black Derwent watercolor pencil for the upper eyelid and extending that um, upper eyelid line over to the inner corners of her eyes like Elvira's makeup. While Elvira's skin isn't super pale, I wanted to add some white here to give more of a highlight because she does have a lot of like highlights going on in her makeup. So I started out with sort of a white base and then went back and did some contouring. She has her blush in the her cheekbones, like under the cheekbone area, so I blushed that in and I added a couple layers later as well after the, some sealing in between. So here I'm using a reference photo to shape her lips. And I kind of cut the sh cut the bottom lip short, so um, just with some shading, you won't be able to see that thick, weird-shaped bottom lip. <laughs> just using a Crimson Lake Red by Derwent, and as usual, all of the supplies that I'm using are in the description box below, and along with affiliate links. I'm using this Faber-Castell Aqua Grip to add some darker shades of red and blending that out with some uh, of the red Pan Pastel. So 
just trying to define the lip a little bit better and darkening up the corners with black. So I felt like the Headless Mistress was a good choice to use for this doll. In my previous Elvira, I used a CA Cupid Monster High. I think she had a good face shape for Elvira, and she was white, so I could add the skin tones in on top of the white. Uh, but I had to do a sculpt. I had to sculpt the cleavage for that one. And this one, I was able to do the cleavage with some, uh, with with just some shading and. I drew on, I kind of drew it and shaded it. I didn't show that on camera because I don't think we're able to put that on YouTube or I would have had to do an adult flag. So I'm just trying to capture some of the characteristics of Elvira's face with shading. Giving her a little bit of a sneer, but not too exaggerated. So Elvira has this like magenta and black eyeshadow pattern, so I was trying to capture that with this magenta pan pastel and blending it out with some colorless blender. I'm also putting a little bit of white on the inner corner of the eyelid and just blending it all out. Now I'm going in with that magenta under the eyelid as well. And I'm using one of these little micro brushes. These you can find them on Amazon if you just look up like micro brush and I think they're for eyelash adhesion. Now I'm darkening in that upper eyelid. At this point, I've probably gone in maybe one or two times to do a sealer coat so I could layer some more color in. At the time I'm making this video, this doll has sold, but I do still have some dolls in the shop. and. I will be making a collection for a convention coming up, so uh, what's in the shop is probably what I'll have for sale for a while. I may add a few uh, along the way, but the link to my Etsy is in the description box below. And at the time I'm making this video, I have one commission spot open, so contact me as soon as you can if you're interested in that. Usually I'm able to work on commissions at the end of the year a little bit more than I am during the rest of the year. So I'm trying to make those sinister eyebrow eyebrows. And at this point, you can really see the eyeshadow and everything coming together. Adding in some more highlights. Blending that out with a Q-tip. Adding some more blush. And I'm kind of all doing this, I, I do all of this sort of in a pattern because I'm kind of being strategic with how I'm adding, I'm, I'm getting as much as I can done before I have to seal and it's just all in an effort to conserve sealer or sealant. So finally with her eyes, I'm using like sort of like a periwinkle blue and then I'll use a couple different shades of blue to blend it out.
once I was happy with how the eyes looked, I added some a few coats of Mr. Super Clear, and then I did the body blushing and cleavage work and put her all together. At the end of this video, you'll be able to see the final photos. And check me out on Instagram if you'd like to see more photos of my work. The link is in the description box below. A little bit later, I'll go in and add some high gloss sealer to the eyes and lips and then add her eyelashes. In future videos, I'll be showing some more of the hairstyling. I just wasn't able to have the setup for this one. So let me know if you guys have any, um, I'm doing another horror convention this year, so let me know in the description box below if you have any ideas of characters I could do. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot. Bye.